What, you thought I'd stop at two videos? No. Do we want to try this again? Yeah, why not? 3,000 tiles. I can do- oh no. Um... Ooh, I- I don't know- I don't know about the ocean, man. He can take me by the hand all he wants, but I don't think I'm gonna survive this. Sharks are spooky. At least we get some money per, uh... What I need to do... Oh, it's 50. What I need to do is kill a shark, and I do Oh, good. Oh, good, the land... The land critters are coming. I might actually have a shot here, or I'm gonna get wrecked. Uh... Oh, there's the shark. Yeah, I think we're cooked. I can get... I can get another gun. Yeah, they're gonna hit my shield generator. <laughs> Spawning the ocean is, uh, no good. Uh, let's forfeit this one. Keep it again. Oh, that's just 210 lurkers. Really? Okay, so what is this difficulty level? 22. What I need is difficulty 41. Well, you know what? Sure, why not? Ooh, missile launcher. Well, that sounds real fun to me. And we only need 210 lurkers, and we start in the swamp. Oh, sweet, Shrek. Uh, let's see. I don't I don't know what these, like, hexagonal slots are. I guess it really doesn't matter to me too much. So I've also extended my tower's range uh, with an upgrade. I got rid of some of the uh, initial damage and attack speed upgrades, uh, which kind of shot myself... Shot, uh, I kind of shot myself in the foot with that one, but that's fine. So I'm going to go for comfort zone. I don't want to pick up the frost this time around. Um... Mainly, I don't, I don't want to go for, like, pure frost generation, just because it's a little, a little generic at this point. I've done a couple runs with it, and it's not bad. But it could be better. So let's, let's grab a growth. Admittedly, I don't actually like growth as quite as much as I thought I would have. Uh, for, especially for a mission like this, I should have not picked growth. I guess I can always sell them. I'll, I'll let growth do its thing, but what we want is machine learning. Uh, because one thing you can do... Because I, I only need to kill X amount of lurkers. I guess, actually, we have a lot of options. We have a lot of options here. Alright. I'm just gonna get some machine guns. They're not actually that good until I get an upgrade, and then once I get that upgrade, then they're really good. Okay, and I'm just gonna keep grabbing machine learning. If I can get machine learning to be the one that scales, oh boy, we're going to have an interesting time. And yeah, we might want to get another shield generator up in here. Some of these suckers are actually hurting me pretty bad. Luckily, we picked up integrity as like one of the first things. So this should give us a little bit extra leeway. I, mean, I don't mind having some extra extra dense shield generator business here. Okay, let's just get machine guns down. What we need are levels. Uh, let's see, chronic technology. Uh, yeah, I'll pick it up. If only to offset some of the immediate damage here. Okay. I'm gonna go for the oversized capacitors. There are also options there. Let's get the shield generator down again. Let's see, can I get another machine gun? Yeah. I wanna keep this kind of slight. Yes, it has just enough range. Barely? I don't quite know what's going on with that one. It's hit it a couple of times, but... All right, so here's the other thing. Uh, you can shoot trees and it actually pisses off the local population. I don't know if it does anything other than just piss off a couple of them, but it is something to keep in mind. I figure it's something to do while we wait for more things to spawn in and give me targets. Wow, they, uh, this difficulty level is not a joke. I'm actually going to recycle this one. Let's see, so we need some more shield generators. 
We probably need some more guys. I might actually want to keep some regular cannons around. Uh, let's see, growth, stronger gears. I don't, I don't really, I really do not like these options at the moment. This is feeling kind of iffy to me. No, I don't want to forfeit. This is the one that gives me missiles. Unless it's not. Was the la last one the one that gives me missiles? Ooh, that's a question. Yeah, the problem is I'm getting a bunch of not useful support. Machine gun specialization doubles attack speed, removes attack speed um, cap. Okay, faster recharge or frenzy. Uh, let's go for frenzy. Hopefully cannon includes the machine guns. Okay, everything else is good. Get another one of these. And we just want to minigun everything. Got any more trees to shoot? Yeah. Just kind of piss some things off. And there's the attack speed logistics. Yeah, this should work. Kind of. Okay, so I think this is supposed to be... That's supposed to be a shield generator. And let's keep going for the attack speed. I just... If we get the... Uh, if we get the thing that gives me more, I want to specifically... Use it. I want it to either target machine learning, which gets wonky, crazy good. Or reload logistics, just because that's also pretty good. I'm gonna sell this one. Yeah, I don't I don't want this shape to get too out of hand, because part of it is machine learning is absurd in this game, especially if we're up against like a very small number of enemies. Because if I don't like expend too far outside of my boundaries, um then all of my guns become, like, beyond hilariously strong. So currently, 9.43, but this one does 20. And so, admittedly, only a handful of my guns are actually going to be getting these upgrades. Uh, I'm actually just going to go for the reload logistics, because presumably, they're going to be scaling damage. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put a machine gun here, just to kind of keep the shape right. Unfortunately, because we're in the swamp, it's not quite as clean. It's fine. Uh, okay, so here's here's the next thing I'm going to do. We need some more enemies to spawn, but I don't actually want to, like, go further out on my own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to piss everything off. There. We've successfully pissed a lot of things off really fast. Take a look at them. The way this game uh, spawns enemies in, I think it's based off of surface area. I could be quite wrong on this one, um, but I, th I think that's the way it works. I wish I hadn't picked up growth. I wasn't thinking. And yeah, I'm just going to keep going for attack speed because we kind of have our own natural... Uh, we have a natural damage gain just based on number of kills. Uh, but I'll get some oversized capacitors. But the more attack speed I have, the absolutely, like, more ridiculous these are going to get. That attack speed's already up to, like, 200. Like, things are getting shredded to little itty-bitty little bitties. And is great. I guess the one thing I could do is actually just let growth go unfettered and just kind of build a shape. Okay, do we want high-density spheres? Knockback, extended territory, or death spark. Now let's go for high density spheres. Okay, what is the what is the ideal shape here? I am unsure. Honestly, I'm gonna go for reload logistics. We're not gonna be here long enough to actually need shields. Cause at this point these guns have actually gotten like this one does 50 damage now. Well, 
Okay. Here's the thing. I'm gonna go for a really nice shape. Let's see. Z, Z, D. Did I do this wrong? No, I did not. There. My battle hex is complete. So is there any other spots that I'm missing? Yes. I'm missing a shield generator there. And then obviously miniguns in a number of these spots. Get this, and this is also perfect. Oh. I guess I could have kept those as machine guns, but no, I I want I want the battle hex to be hexed up. I think this is as good as I'm going to be able to get it. So next order of business, we have money, yeah? Perfect. I'm just gonna go say hi to things. The game lags a little bit when I do this, but whatever. We don't think about the cost. Think about the opportunity. Wait, are these dung beetles? What? There's other biomes with other unit types. Oh, yeah. All right, that's cool. All right, so I'm just gonna sell these rather than leave them there. Because to some degree, me, I, I don't benefit from, um, let's go for more machine learning. I don't benefit from keeping them around and letting them get destroyed. But I benefit greatly from uh, absolutely uh, spotting a bunch of these things and then killing the heck out of them. And yeah, we're gonna get a bunch of lurkers for this too. Okay, so we can do a bullet buffer. Or more frenzy. I almost wish the... I, I kind of wish the bullets were a little bit easier to see. Who needs infinitely replicating attack speed? We just got it naturally. <laughs> Look at this thing. Absolutely wild. Let's actually pick up some balls of steel at this point. Raising our base damage would be kind of huge. Though I'm not actually sure how it does the math on... Oh, well, that was it. Sweet. That was easy. Yeah, what I really want... Eh, survive for 10 minutes? Sure. Survival, Eunice... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I like the, mis the uh, machine gun. That has potential, but... Since we've already done it, let's move on. Uh, let's try some missile launchers. Did I get anything else? I don't think I did. I don't think there was anything else that I cared for, at least. And these seem to be the usual upgrades. Now, what I want is another one of those explore ones. I've... Ooh, this is new. How expensive is a missile launcher? I have no idea. We'll get to that when we get to that. For now, it's kind of more important that I... get some basic guns down. Uh, let's start with machine learning. Ooh, those dim balls are actually worth a fair bit. Come on, uh, you know what? How much would it cost for me to convert this over? 56. All right, that's not bad. Uh, let's just go balls of steel. We'll probably want one in comfort zone, but some extra damage right now is not the worst idea. Yeah, homing is kind of nice for the missiles, because that means they cannot miss. There is not a single wasted shot with my missile launchers. Ooh, this this music right now is very apropos. I'm not entirely sure if the missile launchers... Uh, let's go for cryonic technology. I definitely don't want that to be, like, the thing I focus on. Uh, ooh... High caliber, increases damage, decrease attack speed. Or supply drop. Honestly, supply drop's just kind of okay. I think it's better now. But it's not great. We could also do a scan. Ooh. Actually, unironically, scan is pretty good. Much like my kind of silly uh, extend base out. Okay, let's keep grabbing machine learning.
Alright. I'm just gonna work on making Missile Fortress. Uh, yeah, we could use some attack speed. Pretty badly, in fact. Because what I want to do is swarm a lot of these missiles out. Ooh. Uh, what is this? Allows you to build telescopes. Every telescope increases cannon range by... What? Oh, okay. That's cool. These are bad. I guess I'll go for the frost. Okay, so how much is this? Builds a telescope. Okay, must be placed eight tiles apart. Huh. I mean, it's fine. Where do I want to put it in the midst of this? Because we... We don't have to worry... I guess I should get one in comfort zone. And then more in machine learning. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh gosh. I'm going to need a much bigger base. However, that extra range should be quite nice. Okay, one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Okay. So there we go. So I almost wonder if we should just have a bunch of these small satellite bases kind of spread out instead. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I guess it's kind of a, that's an interesting question. No, it's definitely worth it. Okay, frenzy or auto shields? Do frenzy. Oops. I'm trying to figure out where's the midpoint on these? Right here? It's right there. Or machine learning. So I'd have to put this right here. Here? Or here? It's this one. Or is it this, 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 this one? I have no idea. I guess the trick is... What I should do is just buy them. Okay, so it's this one. It's not perfect. Okay, some more mi some more missiles, some more machine learning, more attack speed. Alright, so let's just I guess we're gonna make the kill diamonds. It's kind of expensive, won't lie, but it's fine. Let's see, oh right, we did get scan. I'm gonna scan everything to this side, because this uh, this side of the, the kill diamond is actually like reasonably well defended. Okay, balls of steel, let's get one more capacitor. Not that most enemies, I think, are going to get close to me, but I cannot discount the potential for a uh, Super Sphere rollout. Because those do exist. Okay, machine learning. Shield generator there. Okay, that extra range is pretty solid. I don't think there's an easy way of me doing this. Now, one thing I could do is actually lose a little bit of damage, but who cares? What if I just had it be this? Okay. 
It's, oh, I can just hold A. There we go. Perfect. I have a battle triangle. There's nothing fancy about it. It is just a triangle ready for battle. I think the only immediate problem is that uh, the shield generators are not in the most optimum of positions within this setup, but whatever, who cares. Okay, so how do we do this? Because I should get some missiles up in this... Oh my gosh, they're expensive. Turns out my whole battle triangle uh, is fine, actually, because I think these things have 800 damage. Yeah, so selling those couple was kind of rough, but next time I do this, I will know. I will know how to build the battle triangle properly. I guess I'll just get some shield generators down just to give me the um, setup. Mm. This is wrong and it annoys me. Option B. Goodbye, shield generators. Who needed you anyway? Not me, not with this setup. There we go. Okay. So now I have uh, slightly more funds for missile launchers. <laughs> I'm just going to get a couple of these down. We'll, we'll upgrade them when I get the chance. Nice part is uh, difficulty on this one's kind of kind of low. I'll have to give this another shot for a survival map, or not a survival map, an exploratory map, just because uh, we're not even we're not going to be able to use this to its abso absolute maximum. So what is how much does this cost? I have no idea. Max speed, one thousand two hundred. Boy, that's a that's a price pizza. But I mean, with all that extra range, it's not that huge of a deal. And even my guns are pretty good. I mean, how much damage does this thing do? 57's pretty good. The difficulty hasn't scaled enough to match. It's still about 1200. I just need more enemies to fight. Come fight me, I'm bored. I guess I might as well kill a tree. Did I, did I not? I guess I didn't. Okay. Just go for the damage. They will never reach me. 4,000 new thank you. I'd rather get more missile launchers. Even if, even if this mission turns out to be kind of basic. I mean, I had a lot more missile launchers earlier. At least it felt like it. But I also am not sure if that matters. Like, getting those King of the Hill upgrades might actually just make missile launchers even more busted. Okay, it's 1300 now. A little bit more expensive. Come for me. I need foes. How may I gain immense wealth without more foes? This is why I should just have more nukes. Full Gandhi. <laughs> I got shield capacitors because why? I wonder if I actually just, like, didn't build... Uh, if I didn't build shields, would I actually gain, um, shield upgrades? Because that is one thing to seriously consider. Because uh, it seems like the game is kind of good at trying to give you stuff associated with your build. What if I just, like, specifically never picked or never built a single shield generator and just went all in? on raw damage, which, I mean, is what I'm currently doing. I'll have to give it a shot and see what happens. I'm pretty sure there's an upgrade. I have, either I've picked it I just haven't uh, equipped it yet, or I've missed its existence. I wonder how the damage growth works, because it was like per level, but I don't know what that means. But also with machine learning, maybe it doesn't matter. I'll go for this. Okay.
looking good. Yeah, so this is barrier regen. Wow. Holy smokes. I get a lot of upgrades for this. Cool. Yeah, we'll just keep those. All right, do we have enough time for an... Oh, yeah, we've barely been going. Uh, neutralize 45 living boulders or 90 giant ants. Okay. Difficulty is 61. Difficulty is 60. So we can do either of these. The question is, which one of these has what I'm looking for? The range upgrades are good. But I think I saw something new here. Sniper upgrade. I only have one target. I don't know if that's specifically what I want to go for, but I will in this case. Okay. So we are going to just get a gun. How much would it upgrade? Upgrading this to a missile launcher cost. Not much, actually. And we'll get a regular gun. I don't I don't know if this thing is ready yet. Okay, this is a legitimate concern. That is a legitimately costly situation. Okay, so let's go for machine learning. Yeah, the, the one problem with this setup... Uh, let's get growth. Oh gosh. Yeah, we are getting wrecked. Okay, so we do we need the shield generators no matter what. Dang. Well, that's fine. Okay, snowballs. So there's the sniper upgrade. 2000 tiles. See, this is the one I want. Options. As much as I like the sniper, this is so much more useful. Actually, all of these are great. I am going to have to get 2000 tiles, but that's that's fine. So, I also cannot ignore shield generators. They are incredibly necessary. Where's my... There's... This is my starting tile? Okay. I think some of these biomes are a little on the pricey side. Get rid of this giant... Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, hey. This is even better. All right, let's get... Give this one a shot. 2,000 tiles. Let's just hope... For the sake of pizza, that, uh, we don't... Oh, God. That seems... Oh, that's what that... Of course that's what that is. There. So we start within range of a couple of black orbs, which will get me a lot of money in EXP right off the bat. Let's get machine learning. Even though it's not particularly useful at the moment, it'll get really good later and increase our base damage. Okay, and we'll get one missile launcher to start. We're not ready to do more than this, but a, a missile launcher should do the trick. Or we get wrecked here. We'll see. Okay, scan, bullet buffer, king of the hill. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do king of the hill. Okay. Let me grab comfort zone. We might have some damage here. Uh, or I am about to lose. The brown orbs are kind of stinky suckers. Um, foundations or gears? Let's go for the gears. Okay. So how do we want to do this? Get another shield generator right here. 
Give me some oversized capacitors. Get another gun. This is a uh, bit of a rough place to be. I'm going to go for the raw damage. I want to do more machine learning, but until we can actually sur survive here, it's virtually meaningless. And let's go for bigger explosives. Oh, that's that big that big ball is actually something that can be Oh, that's wild. We'll get a couple of missiles. We'll sell this next. So I'm just going to sell this entire setup. Okay, what else do we have? Self-defense. Out with the bang. Vortex. I'm going to go for the self-defense. Okay, there we go. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Because we can just use the King of the Hill bonus, considering missile launchers are extremely expensive. This just gives us a, uh, a really solid baseline. So, unlike normal, where I uh, surround every one of my shield generators with a bunch of guns, it's actually the reverse now. Okay, so we got a nuke or faster recharge. Let's take a look at this. Is this right? Yes. Honestly, to some degree, I might actually just leave the cube as is for the time being. We should probably grab scan. Let's get some machine learning up in here. Because the one problem is I need to explore a lot more tiles than I currently have and currently can. I guess it's fine. Because I think what I'm going to do... Barrier resource, yes. I think what I'm going to do... I'm just going to make a very long line. If I can. Oh, this sucks. Uh, frenzy, barrier... Oh, resonance. I could also grab nuke. But no. Let's go for more options. The extra reach is tempting, but there's a couple of things that I want. Bad. So, we might have lost a mis missile there. I'm not sure. But as, as my missiles get progressively stronger, this will be less and less of a problem. I'm not going to expand very fast. I'm going to be pretty slow about this. Okay, let's go for attack speed. Because my logic is, rather than expanding out, we just do one giant stupid line. And if it looks like I'm going to get hit pretty bad, we just add a couple of shield generators to the sides. Because one missile launcher at the moment actually does like a lot of damage. Uh, let's just go for the flat damage bonus. Yeah, 447, that's pretty solid. It's not the most amazing, but it's enough that it can carry. And then if they hit the line, we have a lot of missile launchers. Like, the only weakness is the direct hit. Straight on, because that's where I'm weakest. Clone factory. What are you going to clone? Oversized capacitors. You know what, actually, it's not the most interesting, but it works really well with his bills. Because effectively, the more shields I have, the more that defensive setup works. And if we get lucky, we get the thing that actually converts uh, shields into damage. At which point, oh baby, this gets wonky as heck. Uh, let's actually, do we go the other direction, too? Maybe. Do we have a comfort zone? We do. I think the one that I want the most is the extra range. Because if we can get that missile specialization, 
Uh, oh, oh, that's a 3D object. <laughs> that's a full-on 3D object. Huh. Uh, let's go for the high density. Because that doubles our damage and gives us a knockback, which on the missiles should be pretty good. Check it out. Yeah, they're just getting yoat, especially with the slow. And the AoE. Yeah. This is the build I was hoping for. I guess the real trick, if I wanted to do this correctly, would be kind of like an X. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd been noodling over the idea of, like, what is the most efficient base design uh, when it comes to expanding? And this is what I came up with. And yeah, I already have 3,000 shields. So I can pretty much just bounce these guys away. Maybe, maybe I should have gone for, like, more of an X shape here. We might want to get some of the quick builds, upgrades, just for the sake of it. Big and... Big emphasis on might. It's tempting. Ooh. Missiles are expensive. Yeah, we want to just keep grabbing machine learning. Reason being... Uh, it scales our damage. With every kill. And so that means I don't have to worry about um, constantly investing in flat damage just to have a chance. Well, obviously, it's got its own downsides. Okay, so uh, bigger explosions. Damage by 30%, yeah. Bullet buffer is kind of tempting, but I want to go for bigger explosions. And I guess I'll go cryogenic. Uh, let's see, auto shields? No, faster recharge. I want my shields to come back instantly. Not that we need to worry too much about anything. Capacitors, foundations, cryogenic. This is not a cryo build. However, I'll use it. Turn everything into a popsicle. Now, the thing that we need the most at the moment is very much attack speed. My missiles come out kind of slow. Well, we are certainly exploring. Okay, what do we get? High density spheres. More knockback, sure. Because yeah, I don't think the electric current is going to help me too much. What I want is the... I mean, we do have the option of just putting out a bunch of shield generators. My range is high enough that they actually uh, are having trouble getting outside of my, uh, or outside of the vision radius, or the fog of war. There we go. It's been a while. <laughs> Bye. Uh, I need to teach myself some 3D. I actually didn't know this game was 3D. But apparently it does have 3D objects. I I mean, I guess they could be fake 3D, now that I'm looking at it. Hard to say. But here's the question. How much would this cost? A lot of money. But... I think I can get most of it back. If not all of it? That part's a little confusing. It does look like it gets progressively more expensive. Which is kind of a downer. Ok, 
because I'm a little limited on money. Because shockingly enough, not, not, not enough enemies have spawned. I guess I've kind of forced it by exploring in this manner. Which is fine enough. I'm just trying to think. The most practical way of going forward at this at this juncture. That is a, that is a tanky sucker. I'm hitting him for thousands. Okay, so buying a tile costs two thousand. Making it a cannon is that. Making it a launcher, pretty pricey. Bigger explosives, auto shields, or death mark. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going for bigger explosives. Like, death mark's kinda cool, but I don't really need it. Auto shields is pointless. It would save me, like, a smidge of money. Because I could effectively just leave the tile empty and it would fill it open. Or it would fill it up. Uh, Alright. I mean, if you want me to be a one-trick pony that bad, sure. Here we go. Hey, these balls don't know what to do. They're just having a... They're having a rough day. I want a button that's just like, summon more enemies. Just... Just make them angry. I guess that is the scout button. Uh, let's see. Nah. Gonna keep going for more... Hey, there it is. Scan. Uh, second level of scan? Sure. That makes him angry. So what is... Okay, so the radius just goes up by one. Oh, that's fine. Welcome to Hecktown, suckers. I got missiles. Good luck getting close. Ooh, and that made me, like, a lot of money. I think if I were to do this again, would it be more practical for me to go in a triangle? Probably not. Uh, let's just go for the flat damage. It's not a huge benefit at the moment. Oops. Okay, let's wait for some of these things to go. Faster recharge, yeah. I guess the nuke actually can be used to explore. Okay, I'll, I'll wait for that to finish. Explore that there. Let's go back down here. Nope, nope. Uh, capacitors, sure. I don't know how much more money I can even spend. Well, there it goes. I can no longer ex expend more. Uh, you know what? I'll get a smidge of integrity. So integrity is going up somehow. Because I'm noticing current integrity is a thousand. So there is there is a benefit to those integrity growths. Just like how balls of steel only have five in it, but it's um my flat damage is really high. So I will, I will very much keep that in mind. I only need four more tiles. Uh, hold up. There we go, got it. Oh, that's a bunch of stuff. So unfortunately, wait, did we actually? Yes, we got it all. So we got the level up, but what we wanted, uh, actually was a couple of these. Every 15 seconds of reveal, small area around your base. Can be equipped in building slots. That's absurdly good. Uh, oh, it actually didn't give me what I was looking for. Okay, 400 more tiles. Oh, that's easy. Wow, these guys are actually doing some damage. 
I mean, it makes sense. They don't exactly have concentrated defenses anywhere. Get some more attack speed. Attack speed growth would be good. But what we want is the more options upgrade. Let's see. Go for frenzy, double attack. Is that extra damage? Oh, refresh the duration. Oh, yeah, that's good. Ooh, that is pricey. I think the one problem is the missiles take a long time to fly. Did it not go? Guess it didn't. But yeah, we have this entire area. We might as well just kind of explore it in a linear fashion. I think also extending the mission might give me some more resources, but the, the one we're looking for is the one that just gives me more options flat. Because the more options I have, the easier it is to pick my build. That is uh, very expensive. If we can get the thing that reduces cooldowns, that's the other one that would actually be really good on me on this build. At least the monetary gain for all of this is uh, very worthwhile. Do we want to get more scan? I don't think we need more power, and I don't think we need more smite. But more scan means more range, more ra range means more, more things grabbed. How much damage does this do? 2,000. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll get another missile. Yeah, if they come at me sideways, they're absolutely wrecked. There's nothing. I bet I could do this with some other guns too. Like, I could see machine guns actually pulling this off. Actually, I can almost see regular cannons having a fine time of it. They're definitely tougher now. Though, wait, was I like breaking the model on one of those? I think I was. Rad. Oh, I should have gone for machine learning. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, give it a second. That's a whole bunch of balls. But yeah, we might as well specifically reveal around the central node. I don't actually know if these missile towers are the strongest. Nope. They most assuredly are. King of the Hill, Frenzy, Frenzy. Current duration is three seconds. I don't know if the Frenzy is attack speed or damage. Nor does it really matter that much. I get a million, here comes the crew. Yeah, now nah, they're fine. Okay, and I'm gonna keep going for attack speed. Oh, okay. I don't think we're gonna get it. So I'm just gonna keep this equipment. We got a lot of stuff from that one. Worst comes to worst, we just find what we're looking for. Yeah, we're looking for options. But I guess I'm going to have to leave that for another run. I'm glad we got to try out so many different builds, though. Like, this game really has a ton of options. Uh, Actually, let's get rid of that. I'm actually going to get rid of all of those. Like, growth is good. Don't get me wrong. These are great. We need those. But radar? Every five seconds reveals a small area around your base. That just sounds incredibly good. I don't know about level up. Passive experience, integrity growth. Okay, so maybe the maybe those are. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, passive resources though, especially early on, super worth it. And yeah, we'll we'll hold on to integrity growth. Let's get rid of the missiles. I got a sniper rifle, I feel like I should use it. I don't know if they're gonna be any good, but still, damage growth and range, which was fun. Do we have something better at this point? No, actually, I think we want range. Cool. Okay, and barrier growth experience resources up. I'll look, but I'm not betting on it. Very cooldown, growth, passive experience. No, barrier growth. And supposedly, in a update coming later this month, we'll actually get the ability to expand this, because it's so small. 
I really feel like you should be able to slot some more things in. Honestly, I think the easiest way to design the uh, this expanding would actually be to have these upgrades, you know, the one that unlocks the sniper, which you then can stack some more things on. And maybe some of them are universal, or maybe it's kind of one of those where, so say you put sniper here, it actually extends out by one, and then has three more attached to it. And then if you add the uh, attack speed upgrade, it only applies 100% uh, to the sniper, 50% to everything else. Something like that, or not, I don't know. Uh, actually, maybe that'd be bad. Just some more slots would be nice, considering all the meta progression I'm unlocking. I, I feel like it's something you gotta earn by working your butt off to get, though. Anyway, with all that said, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. I might keep playing this for at least a little while longer.